versus film. Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome to Man vs. Film. This is going to be a movie review for No Escape. No Escape is directed by John Eric Dowdle, who did As Above, So Below, Quarantine, The Poughkeepsie Tapes, and a movie that I really liked called Devil. It stars Owen Wilson, Lake Bell, and Pierce Brosnan. An American family moved to an unnamed Asian country just as a political coup takes place, and people decide that they're just going to kill all foreigners within their land, and this family are on a fight to just survive. I saw the trailers for No Escape and I thought that I knew exactly what this was going to be. It was going to be a typically forgettable thriller starring an actor who's by his best roles now. Whatever actor you want to take that from can be whatever you choose, Owen Wilson or Pierce Brosnan, either one's fine. But there is a saying, never judge a book by its cover or never judge a movie by its trailer, or at least that it should be a saying. Usually it's a case of the movies not living up to the trailers, but in this case it's a case of the movie doing far better than the trailer portrayed it to be. On this occasion, this movie was way, way better than I thought it was going to be, and far better than the trailer made me believe it was going to be. For the first 15, 20 minutes of the movie, it moves along fairly cliched and typical, exactly what I thought it was going to be. You're introduced to this family who are moving to Asia for uh, work reasons, they can't get a job in the US, he's getting a job with this water company, he's moving there. They bump into Pierce Brosnan's character who is some random lone traveller who's a bit off and a bit wacky and up to this point when they get to the hotel it's as expected it to be. When the political coup happens and the military start taking over the country and the foreigners start to get obliterated the movie moves up several gears and becomes a really tense filled thrill ride. The violence in the movie is ferocious and sudden and without mercy and it almost looked very realistic. There was no fetishising of the violence in here, it happened that the people moved on to the next victim. And I felt that I wasn't quite prepared for it to take this uh, very realistic approach to that and it almost caught me off guard and it really ramped up the tension straight away. It was like a sucker punch and that kind of put me off guard for the rest of the movie. Owen Wilson is really good in the movie and he starts off as a father who is just struggling to keep it together while trying to keep his family alive in this horrifying situation and it's, it's great. Director Dowdle, who I said made The Excellent Devil, a movie that you should definitely check out, keeps the focus on the family and the two little girls and often cutting back to them in extreme moments of despair or violence just to sort of ground the effects and to show why the family is so desperate to get out of there because the kids are seeing things that they shouldn't see happening and by using that it also creates some unbelievable moments of tension because you have these people who are pretty much helpless and you are genuinely worried for their safety. Like I said there is unbelievable amounts of tension in this movie and excitement and it's a thrill ride and particularly from the hotel sequence all the way up until Pierce Brosnan's character comes back into the movie I felt it was fantastic, edge of the seat, nail biting stuff that I just couldn't look away from. Unfortunately it's the latter 25 minutes of the movie that kind of bring it down a little bit to average and it's primarily because of the introduction or the reintroduction of Pierce Brosnan's character. He appears out of nowhere to save the family and it seems rather arbitrary that he's done that because everybody scattered into this bustling city and the fact that he managed to find them in amongst a political coup um, an insurgent rising, it's just unbelievable that he would stumble across them, let alone be able to save them. It's probably the most cliched part of the movie and it was something that really detracted me from the, the movie itself. The movie also stumbles into some cliches that stop it from being an excellent movie and just bring it down to good. No Escape was an unexpected treat with some surprising performances and some terrific nail biting tense sequences. I have no problem at all recommending this movie, in fact I highly suggest that you go and check it out. Right now it is uh, streaming on UK Amazon Prime so if you've got that just stick it on next time you're on that, it's a great movie and a, a great nice entertainment and I'm going to give No Escape 4 out of 5, I really enjoyed it, I'll probably go back and revisit it later on. So thanks for watching my review for No Escape and I will see you next time on Man Vs Film. So thanks for watching that video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you notice on screen there is two more videos that you can click and watch at your leisure. There is also a large subscribe button at the bottom of the screen if you would like to subscribe to my channel I will forever be in your debt. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time on Man Vs Film.